Are you all tied up in knots? I know the feeling. Well, I'm going to show you how to channel that energy into making some beautiful jewelry. We're going to make a knotty bracelet. So stick around. It's who I am, a little rare, some and some mystery, putting it all together, doing what I do. Hi, I'm Tamara Berg. The technique we're going to use to make this bracelet is the ancient art of macrame. Now you might remember macrame from the 60s and 70s, but this ancient Arabian art is what we're going to use today to make a bracelet that's hip and modern and a little bit groovy. So let's get started. We're working with two millimeter wide round leather cording. And I like to use the leather cording because it's really easy to work with and it doesn't show mistakes and mistakes are something that will come later in this project, I guarantee. So take the leather cording and just roughly divide it into thirds between your hands. Drop one end and you're going to have a loop, a short cord that's going to be about a third, and a long cord that's going to be about two thirds. Now the short cord is going to be what we call our anchor cord, and the long cord is going to be what we call our working cord. So from here, we're just taking this loop and tying an overhand knot. And this knot is going to compose one end of the clasp of your bracelet. So it's important to have the other end of the clasp nearby. We're using this art glass bead and it needs to be handy because we need to make sure it can go through the loop. So I like to put that art glass bead in there and then snug the knot right up next to that bead so it's nice and tight but our bead still fits through. We'll pick that up a little bit later. So now we've got our overhand knot. Just clip that knot into the clipboard and now we're going to start the macrame. So remember we have the short cord that is the anchor cord and the long cord is the working cord. What we're going to do is take the anchor cord in your right hand and the long cord, the working cord, in your left hand. Now it doesn't matter which hand you're working with when you're doing this. I happen to be left-handed, but both hands do the work in this project, so it's whatever you're comfortable with. So over the anchor cord, under the anchor cord, over the working cord, pull that through and up next to our first knot. Now we're going to do the second half. So since we went over last time, we're going to go under first. So it's the opposite. Under the anchor, over the anchor, under the working cord. Pull that up tight. So the last one was under, so this is going to be over. Over, under, over. Pull it tight. Keep that anchor cord nice and tight. And then under, over, under. This is a really simple beginning knot. So this project is great for kids. It's an easy bracelet to make. The entire bracelet from beginning to end takes about 20 minutes to make. So it's great instant gratification jewelry. And you can just look at your pattern to figure out what the next knot is going to be. If you see that you've got a break in your pattern, it probably means that you've done the same knot twice in a row. Like here we've got it right here. Two of the under over under. So again, this is why I like the leather cording. It's very easy to just unknot it and it doesn't show any kinks or anywhere. You can just keep going under over under and continue with your series of knots. Now if you're making this bracelet for a woman, seven and a quarter to seven and a half inches, about the right length that you want this to be. Because you were working with this leather, the interior diameter gets a little bit small on the bracelet, so do probably go to seven and a half inches and it'll fit perfectly. So once you've got all of your knots done, we're gonna add the second part of our clasp, and this is where that art bead comes in. It's really important with the art bead to remember that it has a big enough hole in it so both ends of the leather cording will fit through. So very simply, just fit this right on through, pull it up to your last knot, tie another overhand, pull it up next to that art bead, and then just clip off the ends, and just clip it on through, and there's the finished bracelet. Watch it fall around me and shades coming So there are a couple of variations we can do to this bracelet to kind of 
funky it up. So what I'm doing is adding some beads. Starting with the exact same bracelet and the exact same knot, we're going to add a bead to the working cord in this case, the long cord. Remember, the long cord is the working cord. So we've got one full knot and then the next half, the first half of the next one. And then we're adding a nice wide hold bead onto that working cord. Our last knot was over, under, over, so this one is gonna be under, over, under. Pull it up close, position the bead so it's in the place that you want, and then just go ahead and continue on. And then that bracelet will look like this. You can also add a bead to your anchor cord. So in this case, we've used one millimeter round leather cording. It creates a bracelet that's a little bit narrower and more pliable, actually, because it's a thinner cord. So again, on the anchor cord this time, which is your short cord, we're adding a little sterling silver bead. In this case, because the leather is so thin and because the beads are quite large in comparison to the leather, we've done two knots in between beads. And that one will look like this. Next, we're gonna add beads and accents to both cords. Now, in this case, we're using undyed raw leather, and this will change colors as you wear it with the exposure to the sun, exposure to your skin. It will darken up, and another important thing to remember about wearing leather is sometimes it can stiffen up, so you may wanna rub a little mink oil into it like you used to when you were conditioning your baseball glove. Um, it may change the color of the leather, so just be aware of that and do a test patch to see if you like how it changes. Again, a nice big bead, and we're gonna go through both the working cord and the anchor cord in this one. Pull that on through, continue with your knots, and that bracelet looks like this. Now don't feel limited to just adding beads to your bracelet. We have a great charm here from Blue Moon Beads, and it's a copper photo frame charm, and it works great to add a really personal accent to your bracelet. In this case, I've got a photo of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and we just drop that into the photo charm. It also comes with this little piece of acetate to protect our photo. Just pop that in, and we've got our photo frame ready to go. So again, using the one millimeter leather cording, got my anchor cord on the right and my working cord on the left. Started just the same way I did with the first bracelet, a looped overhand knot, and I just add the charm to the working cord. And again, over, under, over, then under, over, under. And that bracelet looks like this. The possibilities for this bracelet and the variations are endless. Oh, and men love this bracelet. So if you've got a special man in your life, make this bracelet. Get out there and get naughty. To create this project yourself, download this week's design guide. You'll get step-by-step -step instructions along with special make-it-your-own bonus tips and ideas.